Hi, I'm Joshua, and this is my fifth grade science project. This year's experiment is exploding melons. And can the pressure effect of the rubber bands explode melons? And for my hypothesis, I think that with enough rubber bands, the pressure will cause the melons to explode because the rubber bands try to go back to its original form. I think it'll take 100 rubber bands to explode the watermelon, 75 for the honeydew, and 50 for the cantaloupe. In order to conduct the experiment, you need these materials. About 700 rubber bands, a small watermelon, small honeydew, cantaloupe, same size, table, and adult supervision. The optional materials are a bowl to steady the melon, latex gloves to protect from blisters, and a camera to capture the explosion and reaction. First, you need to get the materials ready, then set up table three, set up camera and record. Four, put the melon on a bowl. Five, put rubber bands on the melon until explosion. Record amount. Six, repeat four and five with the other melons. Seven, stop recording and clean up. After conducting the experiments, I found these results. The weakest melon, the honeydew, took 141 rubber bands. Meanwhile, the watermelon took 244 rubber bands, and last but not least, the cantaloupe took 346 rubber bands to explode. Here's a graph of the hypothesis and actual amount of rubber bands it took to explode each melon. Alright, for my conclusion, turns out the theory of watermelons exploding with the pressure of a couple hundred rubber bands is true. But the amount I thought each one would take was wrong. You hear it? Yeah. Ah, get closer! <laughs> <laughs> Two hundred forty-three or two hundred forty-four rubber bands. World's second largest rubber band ball. Mm. It tastes like rubber band. Tastes like watermelon. I think the amount of rubber bands I'll be using this time will be less because I think the skin is squishier than the water. I think like 44 less than last time. Wait, so yeah, 200. All right, I think it's going to take 200. Alright, let's get us to 200. Whoa. Mm. Give it a taste. Not too good, not too bad. Um, 144. I was in the midst of it. It's probably not gonna happen, but 75.
Sorry, Mom. <laughs> we stopped the camera to clean the glass, and this happened. From this experiment, I learned that the cantaloupe is the strongest melon. And all this time, I thought it was the watermelon. Thank you for watching this video, and as always, keep experimenting.